Just came from the back, saw no cameras. Chrissy calls me five minutes later. Baby, you need to come to the back. Hella cameras all the way to the back. I'm all the way in the back. Hmm. Not all of them, but on top. Welcome to Thrift Flip. You know what they say, one person's trash is another person's cash. My name's Dante. Join me on my ultimate quest as I hunt for rare vintage nostalgia. My goal is to document and show you my ups and downs, the experience of buying and selling, and seeing how a couple of bucks can turn into thousands of dollars a month, if you know what I'm saying. Come hit the racks with me and find out on Thrift Flip. It's 5.30 a.m., up before most. You know what they say, early bird gets the worm. Timing is everything in this game. If you're off even by one minute, you can miss out on a huge score. We're gonna be going on a thrift excursion. We got a bunch of different thrift stores that we're gonna be hitting up. So the first thing that we gotta do is figure out which thrift stores you wanna to go to. Let me stop you right there. A thrift excursion is an all day venture where I drive city to city hitting up the best thrift stores. Make sure you always plan ahead. Never drive around without a plan. Map out the best thrift stores. This way, you can keep a tight schedule. Know what time each shop opens and not waste your time at low quality shops. I use Yelp to map out each location. This way, I get a feel of each store, the neighborhood, and how far apart each shop is. Whew, good morning. First place on the list. Eco Thrift here in Sacramento. We're gonna go inside and see what we can find. Sometimes this place has deals. A lot of the times it does because it has a discount structure of 25 to 75 percent off its items. However, this place does price its items pretty high, and they do have a red tag which they don't offer any type of discount on. So you never know. It all really depends on the prices in the back. Sometimes they price things wrong. Sometimes they overprice things. Let's go ahead and go inside and see what we can find. Over here, these people take their thrifting quite seriously. There's about two, four, six, seven people in line. You got one there, a couple other yeah. people about to hop out of their vehicles. Yeah. Let's get it going. Show me some. Show me. Show me some. 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 First things first, when you're looking through the shirts, you gotta look through everything. For those that are patient, they will come up. And I sure just came up. I can't believe I just found this. Another one. This one's probably broken. I could see it right here, but we'll see. We got Let's see if this works. Alright guys, so the first shirt that we got here is this Alan Jackson. So this is an example of a dope vintage shirt. These Wheel of Fortune spin this t-shirts are vintage. I'm gonna have to pass on them too just because they're not rare. If they had the actual Wheel of Fortune on it, I think that that would be more dope. There are four dollars for both of them, two each, but this one right here was a banger. 99 cents. It's got little stains right here. I feel like you could be able to take that off with the wash and then do a spot treatment on this little stain right here, but this is a 1998 Rocky and Bullwinkle. Now this is the grail of grails right here, in my opinion, that I found. This is Vintage Guest Shirt. They want 25 for it and it's not on sale. I'm gonna do some research, figure out how much this costs, and then I'll let you know if I got it or not. But front and back, fire. King Kong movie promo t-shirt. This was printed on a Delta Pro weight. So this may be the official movie release t-shirt. It's all it says is just King Kong on the front. They want $2 for it. Blue's not on sale right now. This giraffe t-shirt, front and back, is five. But this top shelf is where I find cameras at, and there's nothing today. One camera, two cameras. Three cameras. Let's look for more. So Chrissy just found this camera, but I told her to hold the camera to film me finding it. Let's see what else we find. Boy, I just smashed my thumbnail. 
always needed one of these. Ah, look at that. That just revealed something. The vintage Polaroid. Now let's go shoot something. <laughs> I'm here to film your wedding. My name is Vladimir. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll be there in a little while, but half hour. Always check the front. None of these were film cameras, but look at how many cameras they have. So the next thing that I have to do is test all these cameras, make sure that they work. First one we have is a Nikon or Nikon Teletouch, 3865 millimeter. This one takes two AA batteries. If you guys watch my first or second camera thrift haul, that you know that I carry a lot of batteries with me to make sure that these cameras do work. I highly suggest you to do the same thing. Oh, defect, defect. Good signs. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I turned off the camera. I don't hear anything. I think this one's broken. It's not firing. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Try two of the same batteries. Okay, so flash does charge up. Thank you, yeah, yeah, I just document me finding different cameras and uh, testing them out and shooting them as well. It's not a good sign. At the time that I took it L, you couldn't tell. I was stacking paper like these books up on my shelf. Just came from the back. Saw no cameras. Chrissy calls me five minutes later. Baby, you need to come to the back. Hella cameras all the way to the back. I'm all the way in the back. Not all of them, oh. but on top. Maybe. Maybe. This one's pretty cool, though. All right, so basically we're just gonna empty out this whole entire thing and then take it, put everything into one mm. that we'll take. We can take that. I can take this. I just bought something again. All right, now I gotta test it. We got a ton of stuff. Got shirts, cameras, everything that I really wanted and that I set out on my goal to get. We ended up getting more than I thought we were gonna get, so take a look. All right, <clears throat> so we got Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four cameras, which is great. All different cameras. I didn't get any video cameras, which is all right. All the ones that I found were all broken. Here's some of the other ones that I already picked up previously. Two Sony handy cams, and then this liquid blue 2001 from Savers. Everything there was overpriced except for this item so they must not have known what they had on their hands this to me is a grail travis scott styled this i want to keep it for my personal into the collection hold on to it because i know the value is going to go up but if anybody wants it and the price is right i'll definitely sell it to you guys next thing that we copped right here is the city of villains t-shirt i don't know if you guys know this but video game t-shirts are going up so if you're a big pc player then you know about this video game right here it's on a Delta Magnum weight t-shirt. This is a 2004-2005 shirt. The next thing is I got two Atlantis The Lost Empire promo tees for the DVD release. These are officially licensed Disney shirts, front and back. The back art's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. If you've watched this movie and you know about this boat right here, there's not much to say about that. And the next thing I picked up for 99 cents is this 1998 Rocky and Bullwinkle crew neck only thing flaw with this is there's a stain right there which i'm pretty sure i can get out and then it has some like i don't even know what this is from it's like dirt stains right here i'm gonna try and wash it see if that comes out as well i'm gonna treat it first there's no back just the front but for 99 cents come on it's a steal it's a 50 60 dollar crew neck in my opinion so if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button comment down below let me know if you have any questions about thrifting. What are your favorite thrift stores? Let me know where you're from and if I should go check out those thrift stores out there. Smash that subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.